Hi there, it's Timmy Joe, and I'm not calling any YouTubers out. That's right, Doritos for the win. You don't suck. Anyways, last two videos were not intended to call people out or cause drama. They were intended to show performance of computers and that maybe you should be factual about that. And uh, I thought that I did a pretty good job with it. So if you didn't like those videos, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings, but we're gonna make this video ultra crazy, mega short. Because everything's already kind of been said, and if you really want the specs and the super details, you've already watched Linus's video anyways. Or I could recommend Paul from Paul's Hardware's video. He does a really good breakdown of RX Vega launched last night, or at least uh, there was a, an event for it then where we got all the details, we had to see what it finally looks like and all that stuff and good things. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter, and uh, I make videos about computers on the internet, and uh, why don't you cue the intro, and then we're going to talk. All about it. Whoop! <sighs> Does it count if I call AMD out? They have a YouTube. No, I'm not calling any fanboys. Calm down. God, I was right. Okay, I had the found the uh, Founders Edition. God damn it, Frontier Edition. I've done that so many times. I had the Vega Frontier Edition in my hands. I tested it, and I was very, 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 very certain that there was going to be no special surprises when it came to the gaming card that costs less money. I mean, after all, why would they release a card for more money and then release a card for less money and it performs better? It doesn't make sense. Uh, so, you know, what's going on here? Well, uh, compared to the Frontier Edition, it has uh, eight uh, gigs less high bandwidth memory. So a total of eight, which is pretty high anyways. And there are two models. There is a Vega RX Vega 64 with 4,000 something something stream processors, which equals 4,096 stream processors, which equals 64 compute units. And then there's a lesser version aimed to compete at the 1070 with uh, 56 compute units called RX 56, oddly enough. Uh, and uh, these are available in air-cooled variants, but Vega 64 will be available in a water-cooled variant for $100 more. And then, uh, you know, there'll be some board partner stuff, hopefully. Well, actually, no. There, there, I've, I saw um, that Asus was trying to show some off. So we'll see like a three fans, uh, you know, Strix or, uh, you know, ROG version of Vega from Asus. We'll see, you know, uh, an MSI Twin Frozer version, I'm sure. So the clock speeds on Vega will really be, you know, a lot better with a board partnered cooler or a water cooler. So... I'd wait for one of those, but you know, if you're a fanboy, you gotta get in the, the, the bottom. Try and get one of those awesome uh, Vega 64 special editions or whatever, uh, entry editions or whatever they are, the, the silver ones uh, that look like the uh, Founders Edition, but with uh, silver and red instead of blue and yellow, because those look really nice. The uh, kind of regular old plain Jane ones that'll come out after that don't look so nice. That Band-Aid red and black version you know the same as the 480 the same as uh e even going back to like the 290s and stuff like that look like that. that 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 looks starting to get old that blower certainly doesn't do a very good job and it would be nice if they switched stuff a little bit but uh you know that's how they get board partners to make their cards they say hey you guys can do whatever you want with the coolers we'll stick with blowers it may be a water cooled version what have you what have you so what's my thoughts on this well i just hope that there's a lot of them at launch and that people actually buy them and you know the driver develops and it gets pretty good and that you know nvidia doesn't come out with some sort of amazing you know uh gtx 2050 that just blows it out of the water because that would suck for amd uh because they you know they could do that they could just come out with some low-end card that has the performance of a 1080 because it's pretty much what they keep doing every year is their 1050 is as good as like the 970 from the year before but you know we'll, we'll wait and see about that but what this will do is it'll bring an influx of new graphics cards into the market and you know it's been hard to buy uh, a 580 a 1060 you know uh, as of late especially at the proper retail price or lower and an influx of new graphics cards on the market might make uh, miners think twice before they buy certain things or it'll make it so there's just more in general out there so it'll be a little easier and a little easier on your wallet as well as they came out with some weird system called the uh the, the packs the radeon packs there is a red pack with the uh vega 60 uh, sorry 56 
uh, for $4.99 where you get uh, a card and the option to buy a monitor, a CPU, a motherboard and get some money off uh, and some free games. And uh, they have a black version with the 64 air cooled for $5.99 and for $6.99 you can get the water cooled version with the same kind of dealing. Uh, and then if you just don't want to have any of those, you got to pay a hundred bucks less than that. So it'll be $3.99, $4.99, $5.99 respectively, uh, which is kind of expensive, but, uh, you know, it kind of makes it suck, but it makes it so the miners might, you know, think twice before buying up all these. So I guess I see where they were coming from. Uh, but then, you know, what else do I have to say about it? Not a freaking lot until I get it in my hands because I'm super tired of just talking about it. Uh, we get it in our hands. Let's try and get the 64 version or the 56 version, whichever you know comes up first on New Egg. I'll, I'll grab, and I've got the bench, the numbers to bench it against the uh, you know the the 64 or the the Frontier Edition, and uh, you know we'll see where it comes out. But I lastly want to talk here real quick about Threadripper. Really like Threadripper. I'm really hoping to get my hands on uh, one as soon as possible. Build a little system. I know this is like really outside of the range of you know the common man but for a video editor like myself uh I, i'm excited to see where that goes it makes it so you can you know uh, i'm pretty happy with ryzen but i'll be able to do that much more especially if i just even get the uh 1920x uh you know because then that'll be 12 and be four more cores and a whole new platform with 64 pcie lanes on any chip which is unheard of and then uh, they even bring out uh, a Ryzen 1800X style CPU for this uh, X399 platform uh, called the 1900X, which is eight uh, cores, 16 threads, which isn't any better than Ryzen 7, except for the fact that you're getting into a higher end motherboard with all these PCIe lanes with the ability to do like crazy SLI, run a RAID on NVMe and stuff like that. So it's cool that they did that and that, that chip will be, uh, I guess like, uh, $549.99 comes out August 31st. Threadripper is going to be available on the uh, 10th and pre-orders were supposed to start today, but I haven't seen the pop up on Newegg. And then uh, if you're really worried about RX uh, Vega, it's supposed to start, uh, you know, popping up on Newegg for sale on the 14th of August. So we're very, very, very close to be, you know, you'll, you'll be seeing all the tech channels do the reviews because they'll have the review units in hand like now. Uh, to do some testing on it, but uh, ultimately, you know, most of us have already seen the performance in that of the Vega Frontier Edition, and I don't see, you know, may drivers will make this card better. You know, the fine wine technology that is the GCN architecture will make things better as game developers patch for this and as new drivers come out and they figure out, you know, how to get the most out of uh, the, the, the new, you know, rapid pack math and uh, a lot of the features that games just aren't taking care of, or, or sorry, taking advantage of in uh, right now. But, you know, right now it's kind of a lackluster feeling. And would I recommend it? No, not if you can get your hands on a 1070 because 1070 will give you like 90% of the performance of uh, the, the even the best Vega, and it requires one power connector. It's a proven technology that's been out for a year, and you're not gonna have to deal with that early adopters. Pro I had a lot of problems with Vega, and they're just minor things, but I had to find workarounds and so some things I didn't find workarounds for, and you're gonna be spending a couple of months being uh, AMD's guinea pig if you buy this right away. Uh, especially if you can get uh, a 1070 for the same price, then, uh, you know, why wouldn't you get the 1070? That's a proven technology. Well, you have to bleed pretty red to answer that question uh, the, 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 the wrong way, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm out watching me doing Instagram and Twitter. I'm going to quit babbling. This has been a long time coming, long, you know, and I, I just hope that they, you know, really knock it out of the park with the next version of this. I think there's potential in this technology that we just can't see and that AMD is putting a lot of like faith into something that needs a lot of developer back, you know, uh, backing and a lot of work. And if that works put in, then maybe, you know, the next couple generations uh, will have uh, NVIDIA running out of ideas and these guys have already prepped for the future. Much like that of Ryzen and uh, you know th their ability to, with the Infinity Fabric, 
link a lot of cores together and get the proper performance uh, that they're supposed to. And in, I think Intel's kind of scratching their head going, what do we do next? So I'm at watching me join Instagram and Twitter. And I thank you for watching me babble. And I will see you in the next episode, which will be tomorrow. Probably. Yeah.